Now let's move on to the next question. The function f is defined by f of x equal to 3x minus 2. Now x can take any values, great to know. Uh, sketch in a graph, um, sketch the graphs of this and this, making clear the relationship between those two. So pretty easy. Uh, as we have seen many times before, the relationship is simply, it is a reflection between the line in the line y equal to x. So we'll have something like this, x and y value. So we have to kind of draw this line, y equal to x. And then we know this is obviously a straight line. So when x equal to 1, that will be 1. So when x equal to 1, the value of y will be 3 minus 2 is 1. So 1, 1 should be on the line. Right. And when the value of x equal to, let's say 2, that will be 2, 3 times 2 is 6, minus this of 2 should be, should be 4. So it will be way upwards, somewhere over here. So that will be the shape of the graph in a way. That will be y equal to f of x. Now, obviously, it is a reflection, so we'll have something like this. Kind of, let's try your best to sketch. That will be the inverse, y equal to f inverse of x. Okay, so that is pretty simple. It is only a sketch, doesn't need to be exact, but we have to show the shape of this line, this line, but also the relationship between those two. Okay, that is part one. Now for part two, we have g of x is this. Now we have to express uh, what? g of x in terms of x, so let's do that. g of x will be 6 f of x minus f of x square. That will be 6 times f of x is 3x minus 2 minus 3x minus 2 square. That will be 18x minus 12 minus 9 x square. That will be 2 times 3 will be 6 times 2 will be minus 12 plus 4. So simplify 18x minus 12 minus 9x square plus 12x and minus 4. Let's see what you have. You will have minus 9x squared. 18 plus 12 will be 30x minus 16. That will be this one. And then show the maximum value of f of x is this. So how do you find the maximum value? You know it is found by, first we have to find d by dx of this. That will give you minus 18 plus so minus 18x squared, so x, sorry, that will be minus 1. And then we have plus 30, we have to equate that to 0. So x will be the value of 30 divided by 18. What is that value? 30 divided by 18, that should be 1.5. Now replace back in your equation to find that value. So let's see, minus 9, so we have answer here is this, good to know, minus 9, answer square, plus 30, answer, minus 16, that should be 9. So shown as required. This is the maximum value is 9. So this is when x equal to this, the max value is indeed 9. So the reasoning behind is pretty simple as well. To find the max value or the minimum value, we know we have to do, we have to perform differentiation. That is one of the methods, obviously. Now, this is the main equation. So we have to differentiate that, you will have this equation. Then we know that at the stationary value, obviously dy by dx, as we have seen before, has to equate to zero. So equate to zero, find the value of x. So when x equal to this, we have shown the max value or the stationary value is nine. But how do we know it is a max value? Because the coefficient of this, of x squared is minus 9, which means it is, have, it is going to have a shape like this. This will be the maximum point. So shown as required. Now for part 3, we have the function h is defined by this. For x more than 3. Okay, good to know. Now, we have to express this in terms of this. So step by step. So first we have to rewrite this as minus x squared plus 6x. Let's make this become 1. That will be factorized. That will be 
x squared minus 6x. Then we have x squared minus 6x plus the value of, the value here is 6 over 2 squared. Now when you add something, you also have to minus the same value. Because here we have minus 1, we have to give it, because it is inside the bracket, we also have to give it minus 1, that will become plus this value. So here we have minus, and that will become what? x, here we have minus, that will become 3, square plus the value of 9. So, that will be 9 minus x minus 3 square. Now we can compare. This is a, and that will be b. Okay? Now apart this, we have to find h inverse, so let y equal to h. So, x minus 3 square is equal to 9 minus y. x minus 3 will be plus minus 9 minus y. x will be 3 plus minus 9 minus y. But now obviously you will take the value in terms of x and the value of positive 9 minus x. The reason why we take plus here is because it is defined by x more than 3. Okay, that's why. Okay, and that will be your question. We have to express h inverse in terms of x.